Hello, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. Another week, another gray Lululemon polo. Another day, another nickel. I feel like last. You really do. The last, I feel like almost the last two weeks. I think it's because they're just so comfortable. So. I'm giving um, middle school principal, my principal wore the sweater, and I said, where did you get that? And I feel like Carol Burnett in that scene when she like rips the drapes off of the wall and goes, I saw it in the window and simply had <laughs> Anyway. This is the very perfect, like, our personalities <laughs> in clothing. It's like gray. Colors. But it's like Wednesday Adams and her friend. Oh my God, what was her roommate's name? I would know it if I heard it. The I roommate. It. When I can't really sit here thinking about it because we have so much stuff to But it's stuff funny because I have dark hair and you have blonde hair. We have so much stuff to sort you guys this week. Yes, we do. So this is gonna, this is like the What's Sold Saturday extravaganza. Like there's is. so much to cover. <laughs> and also there's a lot of sales. And also this was my best Poshmark week I've ever had. I don't know what's in the waters. The waters. <laughs> the, waters the waters of up north. Because, yeah, I had a really good sales week and I didn't run any sales. I didn't do anything like that. I will say, I feel like I've had a few more higher dollar sales this week than I have had in many previous yeah. weeks. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I'm people are kind of starting to think spring. I don't know. I I yes. am. <laughs> well, I wear this sweater all year, all year, though. Yesterday was the coldest day of the entire season. So <laughs> says the weatherman here in Minneapolis. And so. it was the one day that my parents decided to come up and visit yeah. me on the coldest day of the year. That's another thing. So, yeah, Ryan's wonderful. parents are up here right now seeing our house for the first time. So we're filming, like, super, super early Saturday morning. Mike's <laughs> my grandma wants to go to the Mall of America. Yeah, Mike's itching the background if you hear that. Lots of things to cover. This week is the week of the 28th through the... Third, so we're uh, on to February, which yes. I'm very excited about. Thank God January's over. The shortest winter month. I want February to be over as well. <laughs> but what we are super, super, super pumped and excited about is at the end of this video, we're having round two of Rihanna White, is what I'm naming him. <laughs> Brian's, what's her real name? Dana, Dana White. Dana White. Mm -hmm. I almost thought it was Dana White. Can we get like one of those puzzle things in here? Yes. Can Dana. you just turn it over? Because, like I said on the Thursday haul, a bunch more of you sweet, amazing people have yes. sent us more Amazon home housewarming gifts. We've gotten so many packages. I am like <laughs> overwhelmed with how sweet and amazing it's you guys crazy. are. I literally, I thought we'd maybe get three things total. And we are definitely past that. So We've gotten vi many very nice gentlemen. At the end of this anybody. video, we will have the return of Rihanna White, and we will go over the other items we've received from our good, amazing, fantastic friends. Yeah. And I'll also update you guys on a few of the items that I finally have linked some names to from last yes. week, because those people deserve to be thanked. We flew in. And we have four P.O. Box packages to show you guys that also look reminiscent of Amazon packaging, so they might be kind of... I have a sneaky some suspicion house items this well. is um, the kind of do-it-yourself Amazon wish yes. list. That will be at the end of this, so stay tuned for that and of course before that we will cover the sales but before we do that we would like to shine a light on our valentine vip of the week this vip is another one that i see popping into all kinds of premieres commenting on all kinds of videos i absolutely Such love her heart. her name is dawn and dawn. dawn has been a valentine definitely since like we first started. like day She's one like I'm pretty been an og sure. valentine her poshmark username is dawn road 1014 so here's a look at dawn's poshmark she look will be the first link below Hello, so everybody go over to Don, say hello Don, say Jack and Ryan love you. Give her a little You're love. You're amazing. Absolutely. And thank you very much to Don for being a Valentine and thank you everybody who's a Valentine. We so appreciate it. Much appreciated, everybody. So we will move on to the sales for the week. Yes. And I'm only doing Poshmark because there are a lot of them. And Poshmark was a record breaker, which I think is interesting because I just... Okay, I don't want to foreshadow, but I just made a goal in the question and answer. And oh, this yeah. accomplished one of those goals. So it's a little interesting how that I works. I will only do Poshmark for time's sake. 28th through the 3rd. On the 28th, I had four sales. I had, I believe, two. So my... Just kidding, one. <laughs> so my, like I said last week, Saturday is obviously the day we film, but we don't cover Saturday and what's on Saturday. Like we're not mm -hmm. talking about today. No. But then Saturdays are always like good sales for that me. That is kind of so interesting. So it like do... boosts the week and I'm like, okay, so this next week's going to be good. But my first sale on sa last Saturday was this M. Missoni ribbed mock neck fit and flare dress. This sold for $200. Oh. I get $160. I will say I've had it for like probably two years. Did Missoni, you pay up for that? Probably a little, but as in like for Missoni, I'll pay like $30, definitely. But probably not too much more because it does sit. It can mm -hmm. sell, but it does usually sit. I'm thinking that this sold because it's Barbie pink, which yes. is coming super, super so in. Cute. And then 
It's a dress and it's a spring colored dress. Mm -hmm. So that's my theory for that one. Then I sold this pair of Madewell Reagan pull on leather heeled boots. These sold for 40 and I get 32. Those were a very recent bins find. Those were cute. Then I sold this rare Longchamp open top snap logo large tote. This was like a huge almost travel tote. And I reverse image searched the crap out of this and I could not find an, any, another one anywhere, anywhere online, anywhere ever. So that's why I put rare on it. Still only sold for 39 because it had some marks all over it because it was white and mm -hmm. I get 31, 20. Those white bags in the bins, man, oof -ta. And last on the 28th was this really adorable Banana Republic vintage oh. linen wool blend blazer. Vintage Banana Republic blazers can kind of perform like J. Crew if they're mm -hmm. cute enough. So definitely don't rule them out and definitely think about getting them at the bins. This sold for 35 and I get 25, 32. So that's, that's pretty good. Great for a bins find. Some nanners. Some nanners. Okay. I my, made sales some nanners this week. My one and only on the 22nd was this Marrakesh Anthropology Burgundy Little Moto Jacket. Sold for $22. I make $17.60. So the 10th is when something was in the waters. The 10th? <laughs> 29th. I had 10 sales, that's why I was thinking 10. Okay. On the 29th was the day that something was in the waters. Because I had, four. I had 10 sales. But my first sale, once again, we started off the day really, really well. We had a sale of this Miss... I was almost saying Missoni again. Too we started. Guys. We started Saturday with Missoni. We started Sunday with Moschino. So, Moschino Leather Moto Slingback Sandals sold for $350. And I get 280. Of course, I love me some Moschino. You are literally the only person. I am not the, the only, only person. Then, this kind of caught me off guard. I sold this Brooks Brothers G -G -G Giraffe. Oh, this is a cute one. Giraffe printed silk tie. And all the giraffes were wearing ties on the tie. So cute. I Wait, love this. If they made that as a scarf, I'd I buy absolutely it. absolutely love so that. cute. So I sold it for $30 and I get 24 and they said it was a gift. And I bet it was for a dad. <laughs> then I sold a bundle so and it was this, it was this pair, of, maybe it was because I was listing on the 29th. Maybe that helped. That's probably it. I sold this pair of Old Navy 2021 higher high waisted pants. These were the ones with like the quilted oh. patchwork on it. Those were so cute. I don't know if you know this, but I tried these on. They were so cute. <laughs> they were adorable. Just secretly. Well, I was like, oh, the these are cute. Taking my things off. He's like, whoa. Wow, I do kind of do that cool. sometimes. If I see something that is going to fit me, I'll take it home and I'll try it on. And then I'll be like, can I have these? <laughs> he has taken many things I was supposed to list. So Brian no. wanted those pants. And this person also bought this pair of pants that I really wanted. Madewell 2022 plaid fall wide leg pants. These were so fall and mm -hmm. so beautiful. Sold for 60 and I get 48. We love a pamper. Then Brenda popped into my closet. Brenda? I Actually, Brenda DM'd me. She walked in my DMs and she's like, will you please just freaking list that Tory Burch tote? And I was like, you're right, Brenda. It's been like two weeks. I probably should get that. That's my bad. <laughs> so, Sorry. <laughs> so I did. And it sold for 35 to Brenda and I get 28. So thank you very much, Brenda. And thank you for your patience. We love a patient <laughs> queen. And in this house, you need to be one. <laughs> then this next one was freaky deaky ooky spooky. Like, where did this come from? You're kidding me. <clears throat> and apparently I'm losing my voice suddenly. This morning of this morning that we're talking about right now. I was at the storage unit. I was taking some stuff out. I had sold like a coach or something that I was shipping. I sold like two coach. And I was like, wow, coach is doing good lately. At the storage unit, I got an offer of like $200 on one of my really expensive coach bags. And I was like, yes, I'm here anyways. Let me accept this and get it shipped out right away. Except payment doesn't go through. <laughs> And I was like, oh, well, hopefully it does later. Plan. I really wish I would have had that sale. Later, I see a email come through of Coach Dreamer 36 Gray Suede Boutique Bag sold. And I was like, oh, her money went through. Work. Mm -hmm. This is an entirely different bag. <laughs> it's my other really expensive Coach bag. And this one sold for $350. Coach still can make you so much I money. was wondering that day. I'm like, did they just retire the swaggers like today? Day, the dreamers or swaggers they were like, because like and goodbye Dream why were on. they both like selling on the same day and i've had know. them both forever anyways i get 280 dollars. that's a great sale i'm sure that was like 60 to 70 at a consignment store that's usually like what we pay for them that's then i sold this sale. free oh. people stella distress pair of skinny jeans sold for 40 i get 32 they were very cute. cute a more like modern good quality skinny jean mm -hmm. then i sold this bowden delilah 
Delilah. Delilah. Floral printed long sleeve dress, sold for 39, I get 29.48. As a kid, I thought that Delilah was like a just Minneapolis thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have this super beautiful this voice. Angelic radio. woman coming out of the car radio. But I'm Delilah. sure a lot of you recognize that because then I found out later in life that she like moved around and she got promoted. Like, and yeah, we had Delilah in Des Moines when I was, I was a kid. Like, Me and my grandma used to listen to her when we'd go downtown and look at Christmas lights. That was like Delilah. I thought we had something. It was really she cute. did Saturday night at the 70s here. Every Saturday night, they play 70s music for like four. Four hours disco. I love the thought of everybody in your house dancing around <laughs> in the living room to like Delilah. And That's so funny to yeah. me. So then I sold this perfect oh, so for Valentine's Day. I've had this for three Valentine's Days. Every year I'm like, please sell. Is this the one? <laughs> please sell. And it finally did. Yes. Alice and Olivia heart printed mini dress sold for 117. I get 9188. Oh, Beautiful. Perfect for such a cute say. piece. Oh Lululemon, God. Lululemon High Lululemon. Times Pant Lux Stream, $31. I get 23.08. And the last on the 29th was this Anthropology 17 of 52 Conversations Tiger Wildcat Printed Blouse. I like this brand. This is my favorite mm -hmm. Anthropology. They do right really now, good, the I conversations believe. pieces. Like for their like in house brands, this oh, is yeah. definitely my favorite one. Sold for 27, I get 21. 60. Okay, my first of four on the 29th was this pair of Tory Burch brown leather logo knee-high boots. I bought these at a consignment store on clearance, and I got $106. Nice. I will make $84.80. And you just got those. I did. Like, I think I paid $29 for them, but they were also a size 10, mm. so I knew that they would probably move a little bit quicker. Then... A salute to a real one. This is the oldest item that I have in my closet to date, like ever. It was this vintage Western tapestry woven striped jacket. It was originally a Chico's piece. I got it the weekend that we moved into our apartment in Cedar Falls where we went to college. There was a Goodwill in like another little country it's town like 20 minutes ago. away. <laughs> and we went and I got this there. And it finally sold for $36 and I make $26.12. Then I sold this Paxson Grow. <laughs> this was the one that you had wrong. I still can't read it. And I think I have the wrong, like, so it, okay. <laughs> this was the one where Ryan literally held it up. You can see it here. He held it up and he's like, he either said grow mushrooms and it says something totally different. Or he said like grow. Oh no, it's you like said grow like, flowers, you it not said like something. grow like mushrooms, not boyfriends. And it says like grow mushrooms, not like dandelions or something. Like you were so off. Either way, it, like, I still don't know what it says. Like, so I'm not even going to try because mystery I'm not trying to look like a fool on the internet. Sold for $19. That's I made never. 12. That's <laughs> never happened. Is that a goal that I can't accomplish anymore? No. If I could turn back down, if I could find a way. <laughs> anyway, then I sold this Dolce & Gabbana vintage vibrant pink bucket hat. Sold for $125. I make 100 I bought this at the bins, but not in the way that you would think. Some of the vintage heads were like, do you want this expensive stuff? And I said, yes. So I bought it from them and then bought it from so the So I bin. bought it from them. I bought it from them and then I bought it from the bin. Then on the 30th, I had... Four. I had very few. <laughs> my phone was. I had not many. Oh, I didn't have any, so I was right. Wonderful. My first was this pair of American Eagle Super High Rise Jeggings. I've had these for a hot minute, and I was very close to bringing them to Play-Dohs. Mm -hmm. I just don't go there often. No. So these sold for 23 I get sixteen sixty eight. Then I sold this Madewell Floral Printed Pluff. 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 Pup Sleeve <laughs> Peasant Blouse. Oh. Sold for 31 I get 22.12. Again, perfect for spring. Then I sold this Cabby 3120 Juliet Leopard printed zip puffer vest. This sold for 31 I get 22.12. I just got this as well. I think the Valentine saw it in that consignment. Oh, yes, they did. And then I knew this would sell super quick. I absolutely Dang. love selling this brand. Filson Cobalt and Gray Scout Button Shirt. This sold for $50. I get 50 40 bucks. Damn. Definitely, most likely, my favorite men's brand to sell. I'm trying to think if there'd be any I'd like more. I like Smart Wool and mm -hmm. I like the Smart Patagonia. Wool stuff is good. Patagonia but I feel really like Filson sells the quickest. Filson like. still does better. I didn't know it did that good. Dang. Filson does so good. So on the 31st, how many do you have? Because I have to count. Four. At eight. So something was in okay. the waters again. The waters. <laughs> the waters got a little turned up again. This was a guest buyer, and I could tell because they purchased this full price. And it the was this name is like B87 yeah, on the, colon on the shipping point yeah. sideways dash. This person bought this pair of Mark Fisher Zala Black Heel Denim Heels for 46. I get 36.80. I think these are just super cute mm -hmm. spring shoe, and I 
like never get Mark Fisher, but if it's in like new condition in the bins and it's cuter like these, I'll get it. Every now and again, you find a really cute pair. Yeah. You know? Then Nancy popped into my closet. Nancy. So Nancy purchased this Savage X Fenty Lilac Lavender Floral Lace Bralette. Sold for $20, I get 16. So thank you very, very much, Nancy. I appreciate it. That was a very, I love that color. It is so cute. Lavender. Then I sold this pair of Smart Wool Fair Isle printed wool base layer leggings. They look weird, but they, they sell well. They always look weird. They always that's sell fine. so well, you though. Have to accept it. Sold for 30. I get 24. Don't like skip those because they look weird and you're like, what is this? What is this nonsense? They that is a $30 really bill laying in front of you. Yeah, at least. Yeah. A $30 bill. The world's first ever. You never heard that? I picked that up from like Storage Wars. People say like a $20 bill. Like, oh, Daryl just goes, that's a $40 bill. That's a $30 oh. bill. That's a $10 bill. That's a $2 bill all day, Brenda. Then I sold as a Aretha <laughs> Athleta color block trailhead knit sweater. This is so cute. This I love so this. Cute. Sold for $38, I get $30.40. Probably one of my favorite athletas I've ever had. Was it a consignment store find? I or feel like it, it has find? to be because like it's way too cute to have just found at the bins. But like I've seen stranger. I was gonna say we have found weirder things. Then I sold this J. Crew Velvet Plum Purple Blazer Jacket. I for some reason found two of these within two weeks, and one of them sold. Sold for $45, I get $36. Then I sold this Rails Hunter Plaid Flannel Soft Berry Top. Lots of berry colors this week. Pinks and purples. Interesting. Valentine's Day people think, oh, yeah, lots, I bought a sweater with pink in it this week too. Ooh, oh my gosh, that blazer and this rails. So good for Valentine's Day. Things are coming together. Sold for 30, I get 24. My, my, oh my thoughts God. are coming together. My bucket hat was pink. Oh yeah. Then I sold this Peter Millar quilted crown Essex full zip vest. And this sold for $50 and I get 40. So look at all these, these men's popping these off. These men's brands is <laughs> going off. Then I sold this Sundance lace embroidered ruffle maxi dress for 55. I get 44. That's and good. that was it for my 31st. My first on the 31st, Minnie Bowden multicolored floral patterned kids puffer jacket, $15. I make 12. Then I sold, oh, this was kind of fun though. I'd been fitting with the theme of like light colors spring valentine's day a desigual exotic white long sleeve button down like denim jacket it had these like really funky like knit sleeves almost kind of hmm. uh sold for 40 dollars. i make 32 then miss Lori popped into my closet and got herself an adorable little bundle of this disney mickey mouse denim y2k tote bag which was low-key calling out to me <laughs> miss Lori. but i'm happy you got it then she got this really cute torrid and outlander new tag plus size blue plaid skirt this really cute torrid star print chiffon but Button top is really adorable. Torrid red black buffalo check plaid pants. What a uh, bundle sold for ninety dollars. I make seventy two. And I think all of those were bins finds. All three of the torrid pieces came from like the same stack, which was wonderful. <laughs> when the bin just hands you like a stack of things. Yeah, literally. We're just yeah. like thanks. Okay, so moving on to February, I had. Three. Oh, I lied. I had five. I had one more. Never mind. Lululemon burgundy mesh venting racer bag tank top ten dollars. Thank you. The most important sale of them all. Just to make sure. Then on the 1st of February, I had three. Same. My first sale was another denim shoe. <gasps> I love denim shoes. Jeffrey Campbell Finite Denim Fly Zip Booties. These sold for 90 I get 72 I got these when Nordstrom Rack was having some like wicked crazy Oh clearance. yeah, they were doing that really big sale. It was um, like sale. extra 70 or 60% off of clearance. I was like, wow. We went to some like really random like out there Nordstrom Rack. We never oh yeah, to. we'd never been to it before. It was kind of fun. Then I sold these a Goldie 90s mid-rise loose fit relaxed jeans, white denim spring. Sold for 85. Absolutely. I get 68. And then Milan, the handbag queen. I love Milan, man. Popped She's into fun. my closet. She has the best freaking taste in handbags. She purchased this cute little coach leather Taylor flap crossbody bag. This adorable Coach Y2K leather mini micro flap hobo. Ugh. And this absolutely stunning, super nice coach leather bandana rivet studded tote sold all together for 250 i get 200 Ms. Milan, thank those you are so adorable. much milan yeah she is like ready to like she is rotate a bags. stunning queen i love we that. love that for her yeah first on the first a brandy melville bundle wow convenient because these are like something you'll very never also hear me similar say things. in my life a brandy melville john galt venice graphic oversized long sleeve and the, oh just kidding it's urban outfitters urban outfitters urban renewal amsterdam oversized long sleeve sold for 30 dollars and make 24. then i sold this brandy coach. melville brandy melville what was that fake one you found in the bins <laughs> like, brandy brandy Moyle Moyle. Brandy Moyle Moyle. <laughs> it was like I if you put if melville I would on like ever a spring start a brand Moyle? it would be um, 
um, Brandy Smellville, and it'd Beautiful. be like clothes for smelly girls. How fun! Would I'm that sure be? they'd really. It'd sell be like out. a garbage pail situation. Garbage pail kids, but in real yeah. life. But like punk if girl teenagers, it'd be really funny. Anyway, then I saw this Coach Poppy navy blue double-breasted coat, spring like jackets. I sold for twenty five because it was an older piece, and I kind of wanted to move it. Um, I made 20, but it was a bit fine. Then, this is also very spring, a Banana Republic 2012 Twee Trina Turk Silk One Shoulder Dress. It sold for $15. I make 12. I got that when we went to Des Moines. And Twee, if you guys don't know, it's like a, it's one of the Depop like Y2K core aesthetic kind of cores. And it's like, think Anthro and J. Crew from like 2012. Or just think like old Zoe De Chanel. Yeah, like quirky, like quirky, cute like Ethan, mini JC, little polka dots. Like little, quirky girl yeah. stuff. Then Miss LaRoyce popped into my closet. LaRoyce. What a shining little face she absolutely yes. is. And got herself an adorable bundle, as she always does, of this really cute Free People Daydreamer Black Rolling Stones t-shirt. And I will say, if that would have fit me, I would have kept it. It would not be in LaRoyce's closet. Right? No, it would it not. Would it would yours. be in mine, <laughs> which is fine. But then I would... Then she got this really cute... <laughs> <product>. Then I would... <laughs> I was just, like thinking, of, like, then I would keep this. <laughs> LaRoyce is like, okay, I won't buy it from you anymore. Fine, chill. Then I'm gonna... LaRoyce, I'm so sorry. <laughs> then she got this really cute anthropology, sleeping on snow, purple camo cardigan. This was from, I think, the consignment haul that we did for the Valentine's, which was so cute. And this really adorable Powerpuff Girls Y2K cartoon graphic sweatshirt. She got it all for 60 bucks, and I make 48. First, LaRoyce, I'm gonna take your oh, t-shirt. Oh, that was on the second. I'm sorry, my bad. Then I'm gonna... On the second, I had two. I had two, and one of those was LaRoyce's bundle that I, I just read. My bad. Two. Oh, my God. So my first sale was this super freaking adorable Kate Spade 2021 party peeping animal scarf. Obviously. It was called the party peeping print because each animal was like having a party in their little like apartment window. So you're like looking at each animal, you're peeping at their parties. So cute. And I think one of you commented and said that this was from 2021 and then I found it later, but like pumped. Cause this oh, was a bins find. It was adorable. And I feel like whenever I do find like Kate Spade scarves, they're like, a little old, old yeah. you know, not the most current. Or not as like quirky, cute, fun. Yeah. The, this sold for 40, I get 29.32. That's a great sale for a scarf. And then of I finally course. sold one of my Christy Dons. I sold this Dome. Christy Dawn Meadow Dress in Indigo. Of course, once again, just absolutely perfect for spring. Oh, beautiful. Sold for 150, I get 120. Is Christy Dawn still like as popular as she once was? Yeah, I think I it's I feel just like I just like, don't hear about her as much like on the internet. Well, I think like, People want the retired prince the most. Oh, and she hasn't retired anything recently. Well, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's less likely you'll find a retired one. It's kind of like how Gal Meets Glam used to be, I think. Where, like, it is still very that popular. That is a brand you that just we have gotta, not mentioned in You just so gotta long. find, like, the right one. A Gal Meets Glam, man. Oh, wouldn't that be fun to find a Gal Meets yes. Glam? So my first on the second was LaRoyce's Beautiful Bundle. Thank you, LaRoyce, one more time. And then my last was this vintage 70s. So when I say 70s does 30s, I'm talking about a piece that's from a different vintage era that's kind of like imitating something from like even older. So this was a beautiful like silk robe. I think it was supposed to be like a 1930s like boudoir silk kind of a situation, but it was made in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Black silk blend, dragon embroidered robe, sold for 20 bucks, I make 16. On the third, the last day of Whistle Saturday, I had five. I had none. So my first sale was this Marmot Marm graphic Marmot? Is that how you say it? Just Marmot? Marmot? I think so. I don't know. I'm too used to saying things like false. Like Marmot. Marmot. I think it's Marmot. Marmot? <laughs> Marmot? Marmot? Graphic logo mountain long sleeve shirt. This sold for 22 I get seventeen sixty. Another men's item. Look at you selling all the men's things this week. Then another spring shoe. Prada oh bow logo patent block heel sandals. I love the Tiffany blue innards. They're beautiful. The sole, They're the inner so sole cute. of these. Sold for two twenty five. dollars I get 180 then I sold this absolutely beautiful bundle of this Faherty or Faherty. I don't know that how to say that name. Color. I know Aztec printed tribal turtleneck. I knew that that would sell quick. It is cute though. J Crew Point Sir mock neck plush wool sweater, Madewell bubble sleeve hoodie sweater, and Girlfriend Collective high rise black leggings. And all together, these sold for one sixty, and I get one twenty thirty three. Cute. Then I sold this Skull Cashmere Leopard Infinity Elon scarf to Colby. Thank you, Miss Colby. And I do know Colby's a Valentine because she was just the Valentine VIP 
you like oh two God, weeks ago now. Her. Thank uh, you. She got this for 55 and I get 41.32. So thank you very much, Colby. That is such a freaking nice scarf. Oh, I'm yawning a lot this video, everybody. I do apologize. Wow. That's You're not boring. There's something just wrong with me. Then for my own personal collection, I sold this Silver Lake pair of beatnik black smoke luxury jeans. I absolutely, oh. I've made it clear on Instagram, but I don't know if I made it clear here, but Silver Lake jeans are the best jeans yes. you could ever own mm -hmm. in your life. So comfortable. I have bought so many pair that I now have enough to start selling some of the ones I don't like as much. So these sold for $145, I get $116. Also, they're very expensive. And they sell for like very a valuable. good amount. I know, I have yeah. a pair that don't fit me that I can't return. They're like I'm a, not worried about it. They're a good like investment gene because mm -hmm. like you can basically get your money back. And the denim is just so, so It is. It's insane. so nice. It's so I've tried on Jacks every now and again. Then my last sale of the week, it's the cherry on top. This Literally. happened last night. It's I the, sold the Gucci cherry. It's the Aretha Athleta. That was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I sold this Gucci pair of suede platform brown horse bit sandals. Beautiful. Perfect for spring. Sold for $280. I get $224. That was a slightly older, more like Tom Ford era Gucci oh, inner label. Love Tom but it Ford. didn't matter because the horse bit is so timeless. So Absolutely. I knew that those would do well. So I did pay up for those. So let's move on to the gross and net because like I said, this is, as you can probably already tell, this is my best Poshmark week ever. Ugh. And I feel pretty safe saying that. I think I've broken 3001 but not by much. This week, my gross was 3,344. None of my sales were even over 400. Mine was 613. It's like egg on, And egg on my was 2,675 and two dimes. So the mortgage is on Jack for the next couple yeah. of weeks. Um, mine was 490 and 40 cents. Yay. I did <laughs> it's it. It's your part-time job, okay? Yeah, And you've been true. subbing a lot. Yes, I have. So Ryan's teaching net was, no, I'm just kidding. Not much. <laughs> Not as much as it should be at America. <laughs> okay, so anyway. for you guys right now, we are going to move on to, I think, the P.O. Box packages first, and yes. then we're going to move on to the Amazon thanking the Rihanna White. But for us... I will get my little blonde wig. For us, Janet is blowing up Ryan's phone, being like, where are you? She Let's said, go. we're here. Are you coming? Yeah, so we yes, might have a change of wardrobe, but we will see you in literally a second to pop in. We got to take my grandma to Nordstrom's. To pop in. Marilyn this, wants to go shopping. To pop into these P.O. Box packages. And scene. <laughs> back and I know, I know that was not as seamless as I was hoping because hopefully you guys just saw that clip of Marilyn shopping for her Gucci shoes. My love, she did not buy them. My no. lovely little grandmother needed to go to Nordstrom to buy herself a new pair of shoes, which she bought a lovely tasteful pair of teeth pants. Yeah, they were really cute. cute actually. She wanted some like spring summer loafers is yeah. what she said. She so. did not get the Gucci loafers. No. Though she did also meander into the Gucci boutique and look at a couple of bags. And she's kind of got her mind on one, but she yes, didn't buy she one. Does, she doesn't she want not, to pay full she's price. She's not pulling which, any plugs. Which we can vibe with. Smart woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it is about four or five hours later since mm -hmm. you guys saw the beginning. So again, if like change of wardrobe, slight change of camera angle, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's why. We were having lunch and going to MOA. Yeah, it was fun. We had a good little time. But like we said before, we have four P.O. Box packages to open and then we're going to have Rihanna, Rihanna White <gasps> I pop get to up. I perform at the Super Bowl. Yes, to continue thanking the amazing, fantastic Amazon gifters. So we're gonna do these four now, and Ryan's gonna start. There are four, like I said, three look like they're from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So they might be house gifts that people thought we'd need that we didn't put on the list, which I'm sure I'm we don't bad. know everything we Thank need. Thank you. And then one is this really cool, like kind of music note one yeah. that says, to me, so. Mike also <laughs> thinks these are all treat packages, so. So Ryan's gonna start with one. Okay. Hopefully there's some kind of notes. I know the regular Amazon gifting way that they do it, mm -hmm. like you can't always leave a note, which is so which weird. Which is super weird. So let's hope that these have names in them. Yes. Um, but, but if you see one of these gifts that you sent us, please comment yes. and tell us that this came from you so we can properly thank you. Okay, good, this one has a note. It is yes. this lovely Miss Ma Oh, this is dish oh. soap. Oh, this is so handy. 
TNG. Miss Myers Clean Soap. Cuts grease, biodegradable formula. I freaking love Mrs. Does Myers. Does it smell good? We have fallen in love with the Mrs. Myers stuff that people have sent us. I was oh just God, saying, so I've tried it a little before and I was Ooh. saying to Ryan. Oh, that smells really good. You got it on my nose. Don't. Oh, sorry. I was oh just my God, saying that so Ryan, good. Do you want though, though it's a little bit more expensive than like other cleaners, I think it's worth it. I'm gonna pay a couple extra dollars for that smell. Natural, so Mike won't yeah, like. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, and like if Mike gets into it, he's not gonna die, which is always nice. Um. Oh, but it doesn't have a name. Please, gifter of the Mrs. Myers dish soap, let us know who you are. It just says enjoy your gift, but there's no name. So mystery person, Please. we appreciate Please. it. We love us this bottle of Mrs. Myers <laughs> dish soap. I'm trying to like read the back to look for a flavor. Tell us. So I will do the other Amazon. I'll leave the other one for last. We'll do the Amazon first. So here's another Amazon one. This one says Jack and Ryan Valentine, and this was sent to our PO box. So let's whoop, let's see. Oh, this is the hose. <laughs> a garden hose. So this actually think. this was on our list. This is the hose because don't we don't how have. Oh, and it's ended like up at the PO box. It's a nice fabric hose, so it won't be too heavy to move around. I hate. <gasps> When you gotta when you gotta drag a freaking hose like in and Those, out of like, the garage. Those like rubber hoses. This one is from Amber, and her last name is on here, but I'm not going to say. Mm -hmm. Amber, thank Amber, you. Amber, thank you. She, she loves our channel, Love so we channel appreciate it so much. Amber, oh. we need a hose. We do like you guys saw. Or no, we didn't show it in the house tour, but like we said in the house tour, we have a garden in the backyard, mm -hmm. but it's like definitely too far away to just like be able to use like a little short hose. Like a little so this is really gonna help. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Oh. And we have a bonfire Can back you there. feel that? Is it like really light? It's almost like those iPhone cords. Yeah, and we have a bonfire back there too that we'll have to put out fires when we have them. So that is gonna help a lot. So thank you very much, Amber. Is this one of those ones where you can like squirt all the water out and like watch it like shrivel back I up? So. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. This one just says Valentine family as well. So we have a note. Oh. Noel. These are not from your list, but I know you'd love them. Congrats on the new house. Your Arizona friend and viewer, Noel. Thank you, Noel. Oh, what is Arizona. Sweet little... Noel, can we come stay with you? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just read what they are. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my gosh. I've always wanted to buy these, but oh. Okay, so these you are can never find scrub these. daddies, but not only scrub daddies, these are the Halloween scrub daddies. They're spooky scrub daddies. One's a pumpkin, one's a ghost, one's Frankenstein. These around Halloween are actually so hard to find, you and they like sell out even on Amazon. Noel, where in Noel. Nazi did you find these? Thank you. These are so, so much. Cute. If I had known, I would have put these on the wish list. I just didn't know they were ever like in stock. No. Oh, these are so excited. <laughs> I am the like biggest Scrub Daddy, Scrub Mommy fan on the, the planet. I love them. But I've always wanted one. one. Noelle has thankfully. So now we have dish soap and a dish soap. Look at that. We can pumpkin. officially like clean all of our things. Okay, so then this one is from Lauren from California. There's no other note on the outside, so let's see, but I do. I don't want to show her address, but like she put some fun like spooky Cute. stickers and like a spooky scene on it, which I absolutely oh, freaking love. We love the dedication to the packaging. Yes. Miss Lauren from California. I also just love the packaging, period. <gasps> it is so cute. Oh my, oh my gosh, God, look. Gosh. Okay, I need to somehow Aww. like save literally these. save these ones. I love that one. It looks like vintage. Okay, so I have to save these stickers, so let's be careful here. Oh, oh and there's, there's another one. There's so many cute stickers. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is so oh cute. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've seen these. Um, junk journals. They're called junk journals. And they just like are filled with a ton of like extra paper, extra pockets. They're so cute. Jack's journal. Look and look at, at all these like spooky scenes. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, there's a note that I'm going to read in a second. But like... Oh my gosh, she had to literally do all of this. Yeah, they're so Eat, drink, and be so scary. So detailed. And the Krusty Krab page. This is insane. This is so cute. And there's like stickers oh. throughout. I thought these were going to oh be gosh, business cards. Oh my gosh, and like spooky... Where did all this come from? Because I also I need to this. know where you get these things. I think people make them well, and you can like buy oh, them. Thank you for that one. Yeah. I think people make them and you can buy them. Mm -hmm. This... Is, this is literally so amazing, and this would be so much work. Oh my God. All this paper, <gasps> more is of the vintage-looking 
stickers. Okay, let me Ugh. read the note. This is like touching up my heart. Hopefully she has like a business card in here somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is so, so sweet. Cute. So she made this whole journal by hand, which would take so long. And that's so amazing and sweet of her. I love it. It's so cute. She said she just likes to do arts and crafts. So I guess she just like made this out of her kindness in her heart. Aww. And she's also in education. She teaches algebra and music. I... I feel like so, those things, in theory, go very well together. I cannot do either of them. I love math. Unfortunately. So I love yeah, math. Yeah, and Mike isn't very musically. And inclined. her username on Poshmark is browniecakes10. So I'm also going to link her. She'll be right under the Valentine VIP. Please go tell her how amazing she is and leave, like, a bunch of spooky emojis for me. Yeah. I would appreciate that. That this is, an like, adorable journal. One of it's the cutest things one ever. One of those ones like, you don't want to write you, in. So I know. Cool. This is beyond. This is... I love that it has so like pockets work. in it though. I know. The amount of work that went into this. And envelopes. So this is going right in my office, right next to my desk. I am obsessed with this. Oh, this yeah. is these so sweet. Thank you so much, Lauren. And thank you to all four people thank that you, sent everybody. these. These are amazing. <sighs> Noel, those freaking script enemies. Okay. But we do have more people to thank. We are gonna jump in to the Amazon list, the Amazon housewarming gifts that we still don't deserve and have been sent a billion of. Thank you. And you guys are too sweet and we don't deserve you. Let's start with the updates from last week because I found some names after some yes. digging on who sent what. So the reef blower. The, Playing with the, the reef, reef blower. blower. The leaf blower came from Rochelle. Rochelle. Rochelle had just been the Valentine VIP like two weeks ago. So sweet. Such an icon. Has been supporting us for like ever. She has been around Thank for a so long time. Thank you so much, Rochelle. Time. The rubber mallet was from our bins friend, Angela. So we so see her sweet. at the bins off Angela. and on. She is like a magnet for like luxury she and Lululemon. Good stuff. Yeah. And a lot of Lululemon. The bookshelf was from Kimberly. So Kimberly, Kimberly. I wrote yeah. you a comment, but thank you oh so, 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 it's so, 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 so much. Thank it you is so, much. so adorable. I've already so filled it, as you guys saw. Yeah, we put a we plant on it. it, so now it's officially done. Yes. <laughs> so the veggie chopper, the Mrs. Myers sprays, and the light bulbs. We are still. But let's jump into the ones that we got this week because yes, we continue to get more this week. Yes, and we did. I continue to be blown away. Every time Amazon's at the door, I'm like, I didn't order anything. Right. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. It's people more. on the internet. <laughs> Too nice to me. Cue the B-roll of Rihanna White as I read these off, just like last week. Da -da -da -da. First up, what we received was this arc lamp. And this is from our Houston family. This is from Melinda, Jason, and Augie, which I'm sure basically all of you know at this point. We went now like, what, two I mean, year and a half years ago, ago, two years ago, yeah. to Texas and Houston, and we visited them and had a fun, like, whole oh thrifting God. trip. We had such a good time. One of the highlights of my life, period. We need to go down. back. That we was amazing. We need to go back. We love them so much, and Augie is the actual cutest baby I've ever seen in my entire so life. Cute. So thank you to them. This light is perfect, and it's going to go over our downstairs couch it's once we get careful. one. Thank you, guys. We got two more of those out Outlets, those outlet splitters that have like the built-in night lights. Those are so helpful and amazing. They're so nice. As zillennials, we need to plug in our phones and our like devices everywhere. Okay. So the fact that they have like built-in USB ports. Mm -hmm. And the night light. I like the night light yes. for like when we have people over. You know, it was nice like when I go down to work in the morning to yes. not be able to like fall. Oh, so stairs. those are from Judy. I was just talking Judy, about the night Judy, Judy, So Judy, thank you. thank you, thank you so, so much. We appreciate you so much. Those are so helpful. We got a tree trimmer, oh. a little like uh, clipper, chopper, chomper, scissor from so Lori. Helpful. So thank you so much, Lori. We have a ton of trees. We didn't show them, but in the front and the back, we have tons mm -hmm. of bushes and trees. Yes, we do. That will need to be trimmed. The people that lived here before us didn't upkeep them as well as we would have. So no. we got to do that. Which is really So thank you, Lori. We can now. We got a big old pack of AA batteries <gasps> from Valerie. And we need batteries continuously. I think, like, nobody <laughs> tells you the one thing that you, like, will never have enough of as an adult is, batteries. is freaking batteries. Yes. Everything needs batteries, <laughs> and they never last for as long as you The think day they before these arrived, we actually, like, ran off to Target and bought a huge pack of batteries, and then I was able to return them because Thank God. Valerie sent me Miss them. Valerie so came in clutch. Thank you very much, Valerie. We got a drawer tray, like, for drawer organization, along with some metal skull reusable straws. <laughs> from Maggie and these Maggie. straws are so much cooler in person than I even thought from seeing them online. 
So of course, Maggie, I'm obsessed. So thank you so much to Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. We got another big old drum of detergent, which duh, uh. our jobs, our lives, we continuously need laundry detergent. I'm a dirty human being who works with children. So like I produce a lot of laundry. There is no such thing as too much of it. No. So that came from Lolita. So Lolita, A, I love your name. Second, Beautiful. thank you so much for the detergent. Thank you for keeping thank us you. clean. And so Lolita is actually Ariel's mom. And Ariel also sent us something. They sent it together. Ariel got us a pack of dishwasher pods. Oh my God. Another thing that you can so literally never have too many of. Helpful on so the dishwasher pods. Another oh thing God, that we need continuously because we just eat. We <laughs> go through a lot. Well, and I bring my lunch to school every day, yeah. or I try to. So it's like I have that dish to wash when I come home. Yeah. And I don't want to like go out and buy more. Yes. Containers. So this one is actually not an Amazon thing, but we need to thank Patricia. <gasps> Patricia. Ryan, Ryan has now actually met Patricia. Wonderful human being. So, so sweet. Patricia was so kind that she commented on last What's Old Saturday and said, oh, I live in Minnesota quite close and mm -hmm. I have a bunch of plants and I have too many and I just kind of want to like give some to a new home that'll take care of them. I guess who's a new home that we are care plant of them. people. Once As again, as zillennials, we are absolutely we obsessed with plants. plants. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you're seeing a bunch of her plants right now. They're beautiful. So nice. And we so appreciate it. She even gave us like pots with them. Yeah. Like she's and an icon. She texted me and that she found a few more. Yeah. So we will have all kinds of beautiful plants we will take in this home. Good care of them. That are from Patricia. So thank you. Fresher air in this house. I was now. gonna say it'll be nice. We got beautiful. this beautiful emerald green steam mop, and this is actually from my grandma. Favorite thing this ever. This is from I Nancy. Love I love the color of this. It um, is really bougie. I don't have footage of her right now. No, we but don't. But we did go to dinner with her last we night. We need to take some, like, B-roll of Nancy <laughs> to just, like, have. And then the last one that I have a name for is a freaking... Wait, listen for it. Listen for it first. <laughs> A garbage disposal for our sink. I don't think we said it in the tour, but when we moved in, the disposal here was shot. You could tell they had like poured grease on the disposal. It was disgusting. Shocked. It was so bad. And Kate not only sent us a garbage disposal, she sent it like custom gift wrapped from Amazon along with like this cute little note. Kate, so you are too nice. Her username is also... Ocean View, Maine. I will put her below as well. So thank you, Kate. And mm -hmm. everybody, I installed that disposal myself. And it works amazing. I'm an adult. It works so good. I'm a homeowner. I can handle this. Yes, you absolutely can. <laughs> okay, so we have four more that, kind of like last week, are total mysteries. They're just, Amazon either didn't put a note in or the person didn't put their right. name. I don't know. So again, anyway. like last week, if this is you, please let us know. We got a toilet seat. Oh, and we're not going to show it on the toilet because we haven't put it on anyways yet. But this is Ryan holding the box of the toilet seat. So we do need a new one downstairs. Mm -hmm. They had kind of like ruined this one. As in it's just broken. It's broken. None of that. Screws are broken. It's huh? just old. Yes. This is a good one. So we got a freaking gym scooter. I... Insert the footage of Ryan scooting all the way across and all the way back in our crawl space. I'm gonna have two. When I get it, bored, when we have snow days, I'm gonna have too much fun with that It jam works oh my God. better than we even expected. It makes being under there so much easier. We've actually been able to put some stuff under there because you just like, doop, boop. It also like definitely brings out a little bit more of my childlike nature because yeah. I now have a scooter. You just can't, I can just kinda, can't hit your head on the lights. No, that would be bad. Please be don't take out a light bulb. Then... We have two absolutely insane gifts. So we got from, I forgot, this one actually we do have a name for. Her. I just had it at the bottom of the list because it's so amazing and I needed to like give it its own moment. From A and B Thrifting, we received this amazing, fantastic, beautiful coffee table. The oh. wood of this coffee table matches every piece of furniture it's that we have in the living room. Beautiful. Hopefully, Rihanna White is showing you that it opens like a desk oh. so we can work and watch TV at the same time or we could eat on it or we could write like Just like, notes. you know, you not have your drink papers. 15 feet away. I 100% will grade papers it is up here. perfect. It has that mid-century modern like four legs that kind of go out in an angle Hairpin look. Legs. They're adorable. Oh, They're a adorable. And B, thrifting. We appreciate it so, so much. Like, too nice. We, too you nice. You did not need to do that. Like literally too kind. Too sweet. We really, really appreciate it though. Like that's going to come in handy so much. And actually, I kind of feel like 
our living room's almost done now. The living room is kind that of That was, like, kind of the, like, finishing touch. So, mm -hmm. like, that, thank you so much. We just need to get a couch down in the basement, and we're good to go. But speaking of the living room, this is a mystery person, because once again, this we didn't get it This is a no-name. We received the second bookshelf. Oh. We did have two on there. We They're wanted to get so two of them. Pretty. Because we do love to collect art books and like botanical photograph books from the bins and stuff. Obviously mm -hmm. we see them all the time. I also yes. like to get like fun vintage Halloween books. Sometimes we get some like nostalgic ones, you like know, a Goosebumps or something. It is kind of fun to just like have a little tchotchke. Yeah, and then of you course know? we have plants, we have like rocks, we have Small statues, decorative objects, of I us have and some Mike. like little artsy fartsy things. And now we have a place to put them. Because yeah. like honestly the first one was like a perfect amount of space for what we currently have. So we'll the second more. one can now host all of our stuff. All of our, all new, of our new memories. Absolutely. So please, please come forward if you have given these gifts. If you bought us that bookcase. We need to thank you. You need to be recognized. So to all of you, be on floor. Like Literally. I am it is ascended. too nice thank you for us to sit here so much. And gab at you about goodwill yeah, and what? you all do We sit here and we're us. like color pink is in. <laughs> And you all... And we deserve this. Treat us like no. royalty. It is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. And I love each and every one of you. And if I could give you a kiss, I would. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So, so, so much. Everybody that gave us something, we appreciate it so, 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 so much. And everyone who's just watching, we appreciate you too. We love you Thank as you. well. You matter just as much to us. We will see you guys on Tuesday for a video that we haven't quite decided on yet. So, of no. course, if you have something in mind, let us know below. Give me a jingle. Or else, we'll see you for whatever we come up. <laughs> see you Tuesday, and, Thursday, Saturday. And then, week. yep, yeah. we'll see you the rest of the days. And like I said on Thursday's video, I might on the second channel have some kind of something this week, possibly. Yeah, to kick off some, hopefully something fun. Some home stuff. Mm -hmm. So we will see you when we see you. Goodbye. Goodbye.